The evolution of the Type 054B frigate within the People's Liberation Army Navy represents more than a simple incremental update to an existing class of escort ships. It reflects a broader shift in naval doctrine, industrial capability, and long-term strategic planning that positions China as a major maritime actor in the 21st century. The Type 054B embodies a transition from relying on foreign-inspired hulls and sensor architectures to a fully indigenous design, optimized through domestic engineering, manufacturing, and iterative sea trial refinement. This evolution is an important milestone in transforming the Chinese fleet from a coastal-focused force to a multi-ocean operational navy capable of sustained expeditionary deployments. At the technological level, the Type 054B showcases a modern and efficient sensor suite built around an improved phased array radar architecture, allowing faster target acquisition, higher data processing throughput, and superior track management for both anti-air and anti-surface operations. The vertical launch system of 32 cells gives the frigate the ability to deploy surface-to-air missiles, anti-ship missiles, and potentially anti-submarine munitions, providing flexibility that strengthens the vessel's role as a true multi-purpose escort in complex naval engagements. Compared to the earlier Type 054A, improvements in acoustic quieting, hull design, propeller geometry, and towed array sonar performance significantly enhance the ship's anti-submarine warfare capabilities. From an organizational and doctrinal perspective, the Type 054B is not designed to operate as a solitary combatant. Its core mission is to function as a protective component within an integrated fleet architecture, especially in support of carrier strike groups centered on China's new generation of carriers such as the Fujian. In this role, the frigate acts as a defensive shield against submarines, drones, maritime patrol aircraft, low-flying cruise missiles, and surface threats. The Type 055 large destroyers provide area air defense and long-range missile interception. The Type 052D destroyers contribute flexible air-sea control and rapid response. The Type 054B acts as both close-in anti-submarine escort and mid-range air defense node. The cohesion of these classes produces a sophisticated, layered defensive envelope that reflects the structure of mature Blue Water navies. The deployment schedule of the Type 054B offers an insight into Chinese naval industrial efficiency. With three to four hulls entering service annually, the tempo of construction signals not only industrial momentum, but also strategic intention. Unlike many Western naval shipbuilding programs, which are often slowed by bureaucratic delays, cost overruns, and fragmented supply chains, the Chinese shipbuilding sector is vertically integrated, coordinated, and backed by unified state direction. The advantages include rapid prototyping, compressed construction timelines, and predictable component standardization. China's shipyards benefit from accumulated mass production expertise from commercial shipbuilding dominance, which translates naturally into military ship production. This industrial ecology is fundamental to China's maritime rise. While countries like the United States maintain technological superiority at the high end of naval warfare, China increasingly holds advantage in the speed and scale of fleet expansion. The Type 054B is a case study in this dynamic. Even if each individual frigate is not radically superior to foreign equivalents, the aggregate mass of these vessels across the fleet creates strategic weight. Naval warfare is ultimately about presence, persistence, and coverage. A single frigate cannot dominate a maritime region, but 10 can saturate patrol areas, 20 can escort multiple carrier groups, and 30 or more can sustain global deployments 
with rotational depth. The operational range and endurance of the Type 054B reinforce this trajectory. The ship is built for long-duration missions beyond China's immediate coastal waters. With robust fuel capacity, optimized maintenance access for onboard systems, and habitability improvements for extended deployments. This design philosophy aligns with the plan's broader objective to operate in the Indian Ocean, Western Pacific, and potentially even Atlantic Maritime Corridors. Plans for overseas logistics nodes, replenishment opportunities, and cooperative access agreements are part of this long-range naval planning. It is important to recognize that the evolution of the Type 054B indicates not only material progress, but also doctrinal maturation. Two decades ago, the Chinese Navy centered on coastal area denial. Today, it is transitioning toward maritime presence operations, strategic escort, and sea lane influence. This shift does not inherently imply confrontation. Rather, it represents China's desire to secure its overseas economic lifelines, protect its maritime commerce, and develop the capacity to safeguard distant sea interests. In a globalized trade framework where a significant portion of China's economic output relies on maritime shipping routes, such an orientation is strategically logical. Meanwhile, anti-submarine warfare is a key element of the Type 054B's mission profile. Submarines represent one of the most decisive threats to surface fleets, particularly carrier strike groups. The investment in advanced sonar, enhanced quieting, and cooperative detection between surface ships, helicopters, and unmanned platforms indicates that China is building a layered anti-submarine warfare network. In future operations, the Type 054B may play a central role in tracking and neutralizing potential underwater threats in choke points such as the Philippine Sea, Malacca Strait approaches, and South China Sea passage corridors. The international implications of the Type 054B are nuanced. For neighboring countries, the rapid strengthening of the plan is viewed with concern, but also with recognition that China is moving into the role of a global maritime power. The key strategic question for the coming decade is whether China chooses to project influence through power competition or through cooperative maritime security. The Type 054B can contribute to either pathway. It can escort Chinese fleets in contested zones, but it can also participate in anti-piracy operations, joint search and rescue missions, and multinational humanitarian support roles. The direction will depend on China's foreign policy choices and interactions with other maritime stakeholders. The rise of ships like the Type 054B underscores the broader reality that the maritime balance of the Indo-Pacific is changing structurally. The presence of a capable, professional, and increasingly global Chinese Navy introduces a multipolar naval environment where influence is distributed rather than unipolar. A Navy like China's, equipped with a growing escort fleet, is positioned not only to defend its interests, but also to take part in shaping maritime order. Ultimately, the Type 054B frigate is not just a warship. It is a symbol of China's industrial advancement, technological investment, and naval confidence. It demonstrates an understanding that maritime power in the modern era is not measured solely by the size of aircraft carriers, but also by the sophistication of the escort vessels that ensure their operational security. As more units enter service, the Type 054B will play a critical role in enabling the plan's ability to operate far from home waters, maintain durable sea control, and sustain persistent maritime presence in key regions. The trajectory suggests that China is committed to the development of a capable Blue Water Navy that can act with competence, responsibility, and strategic depth 
across the world's ocean spaces.